What's cracking YouTube? It's Crypto and WO here. And in today's video, I'm going to be chatting with strangers on the dark web. This is every level of chatting with strangers. I'm going to be using all the websites that I know of or I've heard of. So for level one of the dark web, we're going to use Talk to John Doe. For level two of chatting with strangers on the dark web, we are going to use Able Onion Chat. This one's really cool. For level three of the dark web, we are going to use Daniel's Chat. And I want you guys to stick around till the end of the video for the last level of the deep and dark web, level four of the dark web. By far the creepiest chat service on the dark Web. It's really, really interesting. It's super, super creepy. So really stick around till the end of the video and find out what level four of chatting with strangers on the dark web really looks like. So onwards with chatting with strangers on the deep and dark web. The first website we're going to use is Talk to John Doe. We're not going to use chat with friend. We're going to hit a random chat, say hello. So the person actually went first and said, hi. I said, hey, what do you do for fun on here? Get straight to the point, you know? Can you hack Instagram accounts? Oh my God. I basically just said to them like, nah, I'm here to chat. Do you want to answer some questions for me? I spelled answer wrong. So this person interrupted the chat. They ended the chat. They clearly want me to hack an Instagram account. They have someone's account they want to hack. So they go on the dark web and they're trying to find some answers. I can imagine this happens a lot because like my first thought when someone wants to hack an Instagram account, it's probably like a really shady ex or a shady significant other, whether it's your spouse or your girlfriend or something. I think people get really sketched out. People get really shady and they want to like hack into the Instagram account, check what this person is doing on their spare time. That's why a lot of people ask if I can hack into Instagram accounts. It's most likely because of their crush, 100%. But we're gonna go ahead and start a new random chat. I just hope I don't like bump into any scammers when I'm using Talk to John Doe because every time I use this service, I bump into some scammers. It's so annoying. It's really obnoxious, but I always tell them. First thing I say is, hey, what do you want to do for fun on here? If I get anything that has to do with Telegram, with WhatsApp, anything that has to do with like Bitcoin mining, free Bitcoins, blah, blah, blah. no, it's it's a scam. It's a scam. I'm not going to believe it. I'm sorry, but I'm asking people, hey, what do you do for fun on here? Talk to John Doe has developed a absolutely terrible reputation for scammers because this is not moderated. It kind of throws you into like a one-to-one -one chat with somebody else and this person could be a scammer but there are chats like group chats that are heavily moderated which I'm going to be using in level two it's able onion chat that chats a lot better because there's a group chat there are one-to-one -one chats but it feels a little bit more personal than talk to John Doe this is very robotic you know that's why I put this on level one of the dark web if you guys want to talk to constant scammers find scammers on the dark web and like trick them and piss them off or something then go ahead <laughs> Not condoned by me, actually. I take that back. And look what he hit me back with. Shop services, free Bitcoin mining, free BTC setup, free crypto trading. It's this Eggman again. It's freaking Eggman. If you guys didn't see my last video exploring every level of the dark web, this Eggman dude, he he showed up every single instance that I ran talk to John Doe. It's, it's really freaking annoying. It annoyed the absolute hell out of me. We're starting a new random chat right now. Make sure you stick around till the end of the video because that last chat I want to show you guys, it's a really, really, really anonymous chat. That's all I'll tell you guys right now about it, but it's waiting for for an interlocutor. That's how I know I'm matching with only scammers because it said there's 151 people online. People are actually like real people are chatting right now. All of the bots keep getting spammed to the next user. So interlocutors typing. It's going to be uh, hello. They actually said hello. Oh my God. Wow. We actually got a hey. <laughs> I'm so happy. That's good news. I could talk to a real human. Not much. I am new. So they said, not much. I am new. I said, same here. I actually wanted to ask some questions. We all know I'm I'm not new here, but uh, you got to lie your way around the dark web constantly. Maybe I should make a video where I'm completely honest on the dark web and only honest on the dark web. Would you guys want to see that? So I said, I wanted to ask some questions. They say, okay, what questions do you want to ask? I always want to know this. The first question that I asked is, first off, how did you hear about the dark web? Did you hear it from a YouTuber? Did you hear it from, uh, most likely it was a YouTuber, but there, there's TikTok too. You know, TikTok, there's a lot of dark web videos on TikTok. If you guys haven't followed me on TikTok yet, it's at Crypto NWO, just flashed up on the screen. It's a pretty decent account. I have five recent facts every single day. I have Stormy showing up every single day. I just post random things on TikTok. If you guys want to follow me, go ahead and do it. Flashed up on the screen again. Sorry about that. This person said from YouTube, and I'm curious on what I could find. You know, I wonder which videos, you know, probably exploring every level of the dark web because I showed this chat, who knows? I told them I came here from YouTube too. I love finding weird weird things on here. Have you found anything yet? Usually this is a really great way to like get a glimpse of what we could find on the dark web because there's a lot of people that have searched random things and came across really weird things. So if they like tell that to me, maybe I can show it in this video, future video, who knows? Not yet, sadly. I actually just told them I always recommend to stay off 
the dark web. Maybe they're not gonna catch the drift. Oh, they didn't catch the reference. All they said is, um, well, I wanted to see what it's about. I am curious. I basically just responded saying, that's cool. I can imagine if you searched long enough, you would find pretty crazy things, which is true. You know, if you go on the dark web long enough and you search long enough, then you're gonna come across some really weird websites, you know, really interesting websites. Like the way I explain it the best is like these websites that are created by these programmers, it's like a great glimpse into their mind. And sometimes glimpsing into someone's mind can be pretty weird, you know? They said, hopefully, have I found any Thing on the dark web. I said, honestly, I'm just checking out pages that I've seen on videos on YouTube. They seem pretty interesting. There's scammers everywhere though. Be careful. And that person said, thank you. And they ended the chat with me. I'm sure they're smart enough to be careful when someone tells them, oh, send me Bitcoin, send me Bitcoin. Some people are like, bro, let me get a Bitcoin first. You know, <laughs> guys, 24 comma 12 equals 11, 23 comma 24. Audience, everybody in the audience, solve that. Solve that right now. Go in the chat right now and tell me what you think that answer is. I want you guys to answer that. He says nobody can solve that question. You guys 100% can solve this question. I know my audience is really smart. According to this guy, nobody could solve that, but I know you guys can. But I just asked him, what's this question about? What's the answer? So he said, what's the answer? And I said, do you know it? I mean, does he? I'll tell you one thing. I, I, I don't know what kind of, uh, I don't know what this means. <laughs> this person said I made it myself. I said, what's your IQ? 300 IQ. What's you IQ? Listen, I'm the most illiterate person on the deep web. Look at this. Hey, what's that questions about? What's you IQ? I am very, very, very illiterate on the dark web. I'm sorry. I'm typing, I'm recording. It's a little bit of pressure. He said there's a simple solution. I spelled solution wrong. <laughs> Solo UT on. I want to know what this solution is. I'm going to find it out. I want you guys to comment your possible answer down below. And if you guys are right, I'll say, yeah, you guys got it right. Oh, I got the answer. Comment your answer down below. I'll tell you if you got it right. This one's interesting here. Look at this. I said, hola, hello, hi. They said, what's your name? I said, Michael J. I got a restart to tour update. <laughs> There's an update for Tor right while I'm recording this video. Don't hack me, bro. So the person says, what brings you here? I said, I'm just here from YouTube videos trying to find creepy things. What's your name? He's like, okay, good luck. I just asked them what's the creepiest thing they've seen. Tell me what the creepiest thing you've seen on the dark web is. I have to know this. So right now my identity on the dark web is Michael J. <laughs> So I just asked this person, what's the creepiest thing you've ever seen on here? And they said, I met a cannibal here. So he has met a cannibal on here. And I just asked him if this person proved that they were a cannibal because there's a difference between someone saying that they're a cannibal. Well, even someone saying it, it's pretty messed up. That's, yeah, it's pretty freaking messed up. But proving it, proving it is scary. This person just said I wasn't interested to have his proof. I said, okay, that's good. You're a good person on here. That's that's always good, you know? So the person just asked me, what's the weirdest thing I've seen on here? And I said, um, the websites that look old school, and if you click around long enough, you'll see hidden videos of murders, unfortunately. And if you click around long enough on the dark web, then you'll come across these videos. But once you come across them, just easily exit out. You can take them, report them to the proper web authorities have any links look this person wants to see it i'm telling you once you figure out that there's videos like that on the internet you don't want to see it nobody wants to see it this person is a good person because they're not interested to see their people's proof of being cannibals but they want to see links i basically said just check out youtubers go on youtube and check out some youtubers because uh some creators slip some links into their videos i've never slipped a link to my video actually i made sure everything is properly blurred out you guys probably noticed that and if you've checked out my exploring every level of the dark web videos the only one i probably didn't blur out was the deep web radio and you know i didn't think that was dangerous at all you can sit down and listen to a radio on the deep web but that's like the only one i didn't blur out in my last video i just asked this person if there's any tips I should have on the dark web, pretending like I'm kind of a newbie and asking them what tips I should have. But I don't know if I should ask this person. Maybe this person's kind of a newbie too because they're asking me for links. If they're not a newbie, then they probably have these links at their disposal. So, so he said tips for what? And I said, staying safe, navigating, what to say to others. I'm kind of new here, you know? When you're on the dark web, you want to kind of create an identity. Think of a persona, think of like an alter ego. This person said, till last night, I thought here was safe, but someone hacked without I know. A hacker friend mentioned me that you are hacked. They're saying, I thought the dark web is safe, but someone hacked without I know. So they're trying to say somebody hacked me without me knowing. And I think what he's trying to say is like a hacker friend mentioned to him that he got hacked on here. He sent his pic to me and also a pic he took from me. This person saying, never come with a phone here. 
Change your identity every 15 minutes. Never use any device with GPS. Also get tour system on the highest level. Always use a bridge. I just know this much. Get your tour system on the highest level. So if you guys don't know, you can go into your like settings over here, your privacy, and there is security level. There's standard, safer, and safest. I keep mine on safer or safest, but every time I update it, it actually goes back to standard. So it disables JavaScript. And to be honest, I don't think you can run half these chats without JavaScript, so I have to be very careful. I told the person that they have been very helpful. Uh, do they just chat on here all day or do they have anything cool to show me? You know, so we can show you guys in this video. Hopefully he's going to be really cool with that. But level one of the deep web, this guy was really helpful. Uh, we found a couple of helpful people on here. We found a couple of scammers, the same person. That Eggman person is really taking over this talk to John Doe thing. Like he's running this corner of the chat services with his scam. So just be very careful. If you ever use talk to John Doe, I recommend staying off the dark web. But if you ever go on the dark web and use chat with John Doe, stay away from any of the scammers, especially people that leave Telegram links and WhatsApp links. Just stay away from these guys. These people happen to come in my comment section too. I don't want to know you too much, but just reply to these people saying screw off. Also use a webcam cover or disconnect it when you're on onion pages. So I have a webcam here and I don't have a webcam cover on my webcam. Some people think like, oh, it's okay. I can just see my green light come on on my webcam and just shut off the computer. No, some people can actually turn on your webcam on your computer and disable that green light. Really creepy to think about, really creepy. Somebody can actually be like watching me right now through the camera while I'm recording this video and laughing at me. So, <laughs> so they said, I may have something cool to show you if you have something cool to show me. I said I have something cool to show them. I just sent them the link right now. Uh, I'm gonna blur the link out. This person says my cool secret is selling the weapons. The interlocutor interrupted the chat. Anyways, that's all with level one of chatting with strangers on the dark web. I'm gonna go ahead on to level two now and we're gonna use Able Onion. Now, this one is really interesting. Uh, I wanna show you guys this. So you have to come up with a nickname. I'll come up with a nickname, um, Gamer. 101. Okay, now you have to type it in backwards. Um, that's what I like about this one. You know, it gets rid of the spammers. Gamer 101. So I have to do 101 R E. Gamer. 101. There we go. Perfect. Now, I'm going to try my hardest to blur any links. Any links that show up, I'm going to try to blur it. Stay away from that crap. Okay, so this chat over here is called Able Onion. Now, it's basically a group chat. Anybody can join this group chat and people kind of get bullied out of this chat. A lot of people know each other, you know? These are like locals. So when they see somebody named Gamer101 come in, what's up, Jimmy? Hey, what's up, Tom? Bro, I haven't seen you in a couple days. Oh, yeah, I've been uh, fighting with the girl a couple of things, you know? But... Gamer 101, um, they have a new person here. And apparently once I joined, I said, I want the Red Room link. And dad left, left the chat. <laughs> I just said, anybody ever see anything weird on here? There's 54 users online. I wonder if all these people know that I'm recording my screen right now. And they're probably like, let's get this guy. <laughs> this person's like loads of weird things. I want to make a video for YouTube, but I can't find crap. I mean, that's what I'm saying to them, but little do they know. I'm currently in a group chat with 56 other users on level two of the deep web search engines. And the reason why this is level two is because this is where we start entering into the group chat territory and when it gets to group chats like I said people can bully you out of a group chat so be very careful of stepping into a group chat all the people that know each other just like you know they start scaring you with your identity and some information unless you're doing a really good job hiding your identity but you can see right here I told everybody that I want to make a video for YouTube but I can't find anything and nobody wants to answer me people are like yeah I have nothing to share nothing nothing nope <laughs> I don't want to end up on YouTube these are anonymous people private people the last thing they want to do is get some clout from a YouTube video but the reason why I'm here is to chat with them. So that person said, what about? And while I was typing, another person actually says, does anybody have any violent videos? Whew. He wants violent content, so that's kind of messed up, but I'm just chatting with people and seeing what they have to confess about or tell me some creepy stuff that they have seen while browsing or surfing on the dark web. I'm trying to fit in with these people because the last thing I want to be is annoying. I don't want to spam links and saying, oh, go check out my YouTube video. Ah, oh, go check out my YouTube video. I'm super annoying. Telling them that I'm making a video. I don't think these guys like YouTubers, content creators. They probably think that like the dark web is very hyped up on YouTube. I mean, when it comes to mystery boxes, it gets pretty weird, but like these people that are sending me the mystery boxes are not like these dark web kingpins, you know what I mean? These are just normal people that are getting buying requests from a person like me in Bitcoin to buy mystery boxes. I can imagine they just try really hard to put like these really weird creepy things inside mystery boxes for me to unbox. By the way, I have a mystery box coming out on YouTube. If it's already out, it'll be linked as the pinned comment in the 
comment section down below. Go ahead and check it out. And this person here wants free links to uh, adult content on the dark web. This person said the classic PH. I said, do you guys see any familiar names on here? Like, do some of you guys recognize others? Feel free to say TMI, by the way. They can say too much information, but there's tons of videos on YouTube of people going into dark web group chats. And once they said they're recording a video, everybody on there like bombards them out of these chats. So according to Nicholas, he says it's the first time he's here today. That's interesting. This person here, Tia, wants free links to this. I didn't even read the rules and I said, Tia, I hope you read the rules. Somebody came here to buy some prescription medication. Oh, wow. This person's saying it's probably easier to get a prescription written out. Now, if I were following what that guy said to me in that chat, he said, kind of switch up your identity from time to time. I should be doing that. There's ways to do that. The top right button over here, if you guys can see my mouse hovering over it, that button says new identity. I can just press that button and it will flash up a new tour. But I have all these links open right now and I want to show you guys every level of the chat services so just bear with me for a second so they're actually giving uh that nicholas guy some some good advice you know why don't you go see a psychiatrist if you're trying to get some prescription you know don't go on the dark net and try to get prescription medication but yeah like go to the doctor you don't have to go on the dark web to get it if you feel like you need these type of medication and not being used for like illicit things if you feel like you need it then go to a psychiatrist go to a doctor this person says lol don't have one so this person luke sent an onion link and he said anyone know what he's saying and he sent the link again I said, what's in the link, Luke? I don't want to click this link, Luke. Luke is sending a link on the dark web in a chat asking people, anyone know what is he saying? So people get curious and they click the link and it's probably going to be malware. He's probably a hacker. What's in the link, Luke? I'm spelling everything wrong today. <laughs> I said once. There's a voice clip. I want to know what he is saying. I said, does anybody want to click it to see if it's okay or do we have no sacrifices? What's going on? <laughs> I'm not clicking it. Somebody vouch. Vouch for it. Luke says it's safe. Max said of babies drinking milk. It's a voice file, a really long one. I said, today's the first time I'm gonna click a link in a chat. Today I trust deep web men and women. Oh no. Ah, uh, Luke, I clicked the link. I clicked the link, Luke. I clicked the link. I clicked, what is it? I clicked the link. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? I don't <laughs> It's going up and longer and longer. Look, 1 minute 19 seconds. It says 1 minute 19 is the last of it. Watch. 124. 128. 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, I want to know where the heck he got that from. Luke just said I was exploring the web, then I get it, and some last messages of crashed airplanes. I'm going to play it for the people because I was kind of talking over it. I'm going to play it just for like 15 seconds, 20 seconds. listening to a military radio right now.
Yeah, that's enough with that. That gives me freaking chills. That's a whole new ARG we have going on here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I got it. I'm, I'm heading off though. I'm heading off of this Able Onion website. That's it with level two of chatting with people on the deep and dark web. Going on to level three, we have Daniel's chat. Take a look at this one over here. So my nickname is Hollowman one Boom, we got it. That's an interesting name. I thought that said a red rum. <laughs> So I said, hey everyone, I have some questions anybody willing to answer. So all the new messages are at the top. It's not like typical reading conversations when you read from top to bottom. This one you gotta read from bottom to top. So keep that in mind. We don't have that many people online right now, to be honest. He said, you can ask and find out. On a scale from one to 10, the creepiest thing that you saw on the dark web was, somebody said my face. This person thinks it's about cryptocurrency because my name is Hoddle Man. This person here says a nine is the creepiest thing they came across on here. My next question for everybody was, on a scale from one to 10, you trust Tor how much? Nobody answered my question and somebody said, are you a journalist, Hoddle Man? And I said, can I be a journalist? Do you guys and gals like journalists? This person says, I don't. You can be, I don't care. Some people are kind of like secluded on the dark web. They're kind of like, you know, a little sassy if you ask me. A lot of like this person's like, I don't like journalists. You can be one, I don't care. I'm asking them really boring questions. I mean, I like, I kind of want to know really creepy things right now. That's why we're here, let's be honest. All right, now on to the last level of chatting with strangers on the dark web. This one here, I really wanted you guys to wait for this because this one is absolutely messed up. All right, now there's a website called Deep Link Onion Directory. Whoever made Deep Link Onion Directory over here, I want you guys to take a look at this because this is all of their favorite links. I can show you guys all onions. Everything on here is apparently like legitimate services, their favorite, because like there's tons of carding, tons of best financial markets, tons of like money markets, hacker communities. And these ones here all have ratings. Take a look at this, 809,000 views, 1,000 positive ratings, eight negative ratings, 1.8 million views, 983 likes, seven dislikes. So 1.8 million people and out of that, one almost a thousand people liked it. Now this is where it gets interesting because I was talking about level four of chatting with strangers on the dark web, right? This is not a browsing video, but if you hit that private sites tab that you see on the screen, that little one right there, it actually opens up two pages. It opens up the dark web red room, 72,000 views on the dark web red room. That's fine, that's fine. But take a look at private hire contracts. This is what I found out using a chat service on the dark web. I was using Talk to John Doe and somebody told me about this and I thought like, this is absolutely insane. I have to put this in a chatting video. So take a look. This website here is where people go to hire. Oh, well. There we go, there we go. Look, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I was just tripping for a second. I thought the website wasn't working, but it's working right now. It's called Ultima Voltis. They want you to register. You have to have an email, a password, confirm password, enter the code. I'm not gonna sign up for this service. I'm not gonna show you guys what it looks like within this service right now, but I want you guys to take a look at the about section. Basically, this is a private hire contract. We are contract killers. These are actual hitmen. When I mean actual hitmen, just keep reading, pay attention. No high value targets. This includes people in high positions, celebrities, and high company profile CEOs. The prices range from $2,000 to $60,000. Now this is where it gets absolutely legitimate because because all these other like hitmen, scammers, hackers, whatever, they're asking for Bitcoin. He's asking for Bitcoin and Monero. This is where it becomes untraceable, completely untraceable. This is where these people don't really care about the money in the aspect and they just want the most anonymous cryptocurrency possible because these people are most likely the bad guys. That's the the bad real, guy. real bad guys that have bad things, to, that do bad things to take out really important people or just necessary people in the world. We are only to make outgoing transactions from your wallet to an address you submit. Funds must be visible to us. We request full payment, look at this, on job completion. So I can imagine you give them a little deposit, you tell them what job you want done, and after the job is completed, that's when you pay full price. Bruh, take a look at the bottom of the page right now. 991 registered users. 287 jobs created, 98 jobs completed, 98 successful jobs. So out of the 287 created jobs, 98 of them were completed, 34 countries visited and 21 days to complete roughly. Now this is really freaking weird because they want payment upon completion. They are going to, prove to you that they, this is scary. This is absolutely scary, which leads me onto the chat service for this, Adamant. Now you can see Adamant over here is a decentralized messenger. I'm not gonna show you guys the passphrase cause I don't want you guys to log in as me cause this is connected to my VPN IP address and that could be one day if they break through the technology that could be tracked back to me. So 
I'm gonna hit create an anonymous address, create new. It's gonna give me a bunch of words here. You guys can't see them because it's blurred out. I have to paste my login phase, hit login. It's gonna log you into a decentralized messenger, a messenger where nobody is a governing authority. People can send messages peer to peer without worrying about anybody spying on their messages. This is truly peer to peer. So not only is this a messenger, you can store their ADM token, Bitcoin token, Ethereum, LSK, Dogecoin, Dash. You can store the Binance token on here. So these people over here, they accept all forms of different types of cryptocurrencies. For example, like let's say you want to do a decentralized messenger and like God forbid you wanted to hire a hitman. I don't want anybody to do this. I don't want anybody to think of this. I'm just giving a hypothetical scenario over here. But let's say you wanted to hire a hitman. You can chat with them on this service. Look, start new chat. It's going to say partner's address. That's all you need. The partner's address to start and you hit start chat. Incorrect ADM address. You need their ADM address to start communicating with them. I can have a conversation with them on here. I can send my cryptocurrency on this decentralized messenger so people can get paid. This is scary. Like for example, on why this is so scary and so bad. Somebody can go onto this website, Adamant, the Adamant messenger, hire somebody to, to execute like a hit. They could pay the person on the same service and then they can just completely burn their account and hide their identity. 21 days according to them. It's absolutely insane. But damn, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that's all with every level of chatting with strangers on the deep and dark web. Like I said, level four is pretty interesting. You can chat with strangers and you can also pay strangers to do anonymous things. It's really freaking messed up. Like for example, you want to hire a hacker, you can hire the hacker on this service and pay the hacker on the service. Bro, that's freaking messed up. That's absolutely messed up. But like I said, that is exploring every level of chatting with strangers on the deep and dark web. If you guys want to see more of these type of videos, let me know in the comment section. Let me know which one of the four chats is your favorite chat. Did you guys like the level four chat, Adamant? Did you like the level three chat, Daniel's chat? Did you like level two, which is Abel Onion? Or did you like the classic old talk to John Doe? But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that's all for the video. Thank you guys so much. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Smash that like button if you made it this far into the video and you actually enjoyed the video. Turn on the notification bell and you will be notified the next time I upload any dark web video. Thank you guys so much for sticking around. I will see you in the future. And remember to stay off the dark web.